Welcome to r slash am I the butthole where OP's job as a topless maid is causing some friction and not the good kind of friction. Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. So when I sat down to figure out what to say for today's sponsor, ExpressVPN, I was thinking, do I want to talk about unlocking shows on streaming services like Netflix? Do I want to talk about enhanced privacy? Do I want to talk about unlocking video games that I don't have access to because they haven't been released in the US yet? But then I thought, why pick just one topic? There are literally so many reasons why you would want to use a VPN in 2021. I mean, me, personally, I pretty much use all the available features. As a professional YouTuber, my life is already pretty public, so I try to be careful about my data, and that's why I like ExpressVPN, because it protects my privacy. Also, my wife and I watch Netflix pretty much every single day, so it's awesome to unlock additional content like Hunter x Hunter. I mean, I'm paying for a subscription to Netflix, so why can't I get access to the full library? So, for example, if you're in the US and you want to watch content that isn't available in the US but is available in Japan, then all you have to do is set your location to Japan. And last but not least, one of my favorite hobbies is playing video games. So if I use ExpressVPN, I can unlock games like Lost Ark that have been released in Asia but haven't been released in America yet. So it's like, take your pick. There are so many reasons to use a VPN. You can get three extra months for free by going to expressvpn.com slash r slash. Am I the butthole for telling my boyfriend, you knew my job, why do you care now, when he broke up with me because of it? So, I'm a 21-year-old woman, and I want to start by saying that I have a really unique job that not a lot of people agree with. It's okay if you don't agree with it. It's not your job, and it doesn't have to be. I currently work as a topless maid. As in, I clean people's home with no clothes but my bottoms on. I do this because my friend found it as a side hustle. I'm currently in college, and it's how I pay for each of my semesters, enabling me to graduate with zero debt. I graduate next semester. At that point, I'll quit my job. I typically clean very expensive homes for very rich people, and I've never really had a bad experience at my job. Thank God. Of course, there is leering, but I mean, that's the appeal. It really doesn't bother me. I told my 25-year-old boyfriend about this on our second date because I know that some people, especially men, have a problem with it. I have to admit that he was a little put off at first, but ultimately, he decided that he was okay with it, as long as it isn't my life goal, which it certainly isn't, lol. We've been dating for six months, and it's been really good. He's honestly a great boyfriend, and I did see a future with him. Unfortunately, last night, he broke up with me. It started because I told him to come to my house at 7 and I'd make us dinner. Well, I ended up being late because there was an accident on the bridge that I'd take from one of my clients' house. My boyfriend heard about it on the news and told me to take my time, that he would just chill at my apartment and it's no rush. When I got home, I was exhausted from driving and went right to my bedroom to put some comfy clothes on. My boyfriend was there. That didn't bother me. I just took my shirt off and threw on a pajama shirt. My boyfriend looked at me as I did that, and I could see in his face that something changed that instant. He saw me topless and with my uniform bottoms on, and it seemed like he just now made the connection about what I do and what I look like when I do it. He broke up with me right then and there. I sobbed all night and all day. When he called me recently, I asked him why, and he told me that it's because of my job. I told him that he knew that it's my job. Why even waste my time and break my heart? He called me a slut and a butthole for that. He told me, you can't even see this from my perspective. I actually loved you. I'm just so hurt. Am I the butthole for any of this? I thought I was so clear about everything that my job is. So, OP, I will give your boyfriend one out of five buttholes for calling you a slut and a butthole, but I'm not going to give him a butthole score for breaking up with you, because realistically, he can break up with you for any reason at all. And yeah, you did tell him about your job, but does that mean just because he's okay with it today, he has to be okay with it forever? The guy's not allowed to change his mind about it? But I'd also give you zero out of five buttholes because, yeah, you were upfront about it. Also, we have some interesting information and an update in the comments. No, I do not, have not, and never will sleep with my clients. No, I don't have a pimp. Yes, my clients look at me, but it would be weird if they didn't. Yes, I'm safe. Yes, I get paid about $1,500 per shift, which varies on the number of hours. They tip me for more stuff, but that more stuff is never sexual. Hmm, 
I don't know what OP means by that, but I assume she means bottomless in addition to topless. I pay my way through college like this, and I'll graduate as a nurse, and I have an academic scholarship already as well. My uniform bottoms are black shorts. Yes, I do have to look pretty when I go, lol. And yeah, I actually do clean, but it's more like your everyday stuff that you do rather than a real housekeeper. Also, down in the comments, plant-based bish says, I'm actually curious about your job. Like, you're topless with just bottoms on. Are you cleaning with chemicals? Like, normal cleaning? Or is it just dusting to look pretty? <laughs> How do you protect your nipples from getting dry from spraying cleaner? OP replies, I'm actually laughing so hard at these comments, lol. Half of it is just dusting to look pretty, and half of it is regular chores. Honestly, most of them just want to talk while I make their bed and load their dishwasher. And Windex typically doesn't affect my nipples, lol. Then, Hall Psychological asks, How good are you expected to be at cleaning? And OP says, I'm giggling at this comment. I don't know, but I'm actually pretty good. One of my clients told me that he thought that I'd be a good actual maid on my days off. Then she also adds, I won't go into specifics about how much money I make, but I will say that two shifts paid my tuition for a whole semester. <laughs> and then Eli1984 says, Damn, girl, I showed my boobs for free when I was your age. If only I had known. Am I the butthole for causing my son to lose his child? My son and his girlfriend had been together for about a year when she became pregnant accidentally. My wife was thrilled because she was looking forward to being a grandmother. My son decided to stay with his girlfriend, but a few days later began hanging out with his ex. We know this because she lives nearby and I've seen them together. I confronted him and my son said that his girlfriend is okay with that. I did not believe that, but I'm old and I can't really fathom what that kind of relationship would look like. I've been cheated on and it was a huge betrayal that I haven't forgotten about. My wife told me to drop it, but I just didn't believe him when he said they decided to open up the relationship. I decided that if his girlfriend really did know, then if I asked her about it, it wouldn't be a big deal. I asked my son's girlfriend if she was okay with an open relationship with the father of her child, and she had no idea what I was talking about. I realized that she had never had that conversation with my son, and I admitted that I had seen him with his ex, and that he told me that his girlfriend was okay with it because they had opened up the relationship. She began to cry and left. A few hours later, I get a call from my son who was screaming at me for interfering with his relationship. My wife is also extremely angry with me, saying that I was jeopardizing our chances of being in our grandchild's life. Long story short, they broke up. She moved out of their place into her parents' house. A few weeks later, she told my son that she had an abortion, so now they had nothing to do with each other anymore, and for him to never contact her again. My son and wife know that it's my fault and say that she wouldn't have found out if it wasn't for me. My wife has brought up divorce, saying that I'm not loyal to my family, so how can she know I'll be loyal to her? What? I'm so sad about how it ended, and I'm regretting saying anything if this is the result. Yo, wh what? what is the wife in this talking about? As soon as the girlfriend has the baby, she becomes OP's family, not by marriage, but by blood connection. Plus, they'd be bringing a child into a broken relationship, and they think that OP is wrong for just pointing that out for protecting his potential future daughter-in-law's feelings? Honestly, OP, the fact that your wife is this quick to defend her cheating son should send up some red flags to you. Maybe you should get a divorce. OP, you and the daughter-in-law get 0 out of 5 buttholes. Everyone else in this story gets 3 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for telling my neighbor to grow up, get a life, and get the F over the fact that I painted my house a color that he doesn't like? I bought a house in a community without an HOA. I wanted my house to be my home, and that includes making it look the way that I want. I also chose a neighborhood that already has fun, colorful houses instead of just plain earth tones. I finally got to the point where I could repaint my house. I picked a soft peachy color with sage blue and soft and dark pink accents. It's fun and colorful without being too out there. My neighbor, Paul, effing hates it and has been complaining ever since we started the project. He's also made his opinion known that he hates our front lawn. We have wildflowers, sunflowers, fun garden flags, and a little free library, etc. 
Each and every time he's talked to us, I've told him that I don't care. Truly, I don't. And I've suggested a few times that maybe he'd be happier in an HOA community that has control over everything and forces people into having earth-toned homes. Paul got angry when I suggested that, and he said that he's lived in his house for 15 years and he shouldn't have to move. I told him, okay, well then you'll have to learn to live with a little color. Last weekend, I was putting in pavers that my niece and I had painted together. They're all things like ladybugs, turtles, birds, etc. in fun colors. I adore them, and my niece is so excited that she gets to be part of my home. Paul came over to complain, yet again, saying that it was all an eyesore. Since my niece was there, I just told him, it's time for you to grow up and get the F over what I'm doing with my house. He got even pissier and told me that I have no right to talk to him this way, and do I know who I'm talking to, etc. I told him to just go away and get an effing life. If he has so much free time to whine about a colorful house, maybe he should get a hobby. He stormed off, calling me a nasty piece of work. My niece was cracking up next to me. For the record, no one in my family is uptight. We really don't care about cursing. I know that some people will clutch their pearls over it around kids, but she's 15, so I'm sure she's heard way worse. Anyways, one of the other neighbors came to tell me that Paul's been flapping his yap about how disrespectful I am to talk to him like that. She told me that she knows that he's a pain, but that he's been in the neighborhood forever and it's worth being nice to him. I don't know, is telling him to get a life that big of a deal? Easy peasy, this is just another story of an entitled neighbor. OP, you get 0 out of 5 buttholes, I'm giving your neighbor 1 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for telling my husband that I'll divorce him tomorrow because he doesn't clean anymore? I'm at my wit's end. Everything changed after marriage, and I couldn't tell you why. Our biggest problem is cleaning. My husband used to clean up after himself, but after marriage, he just completely stopped with no warning. We were dating for three years, engaged for one, and now freshly married. We're 28 and 29. After we got married, my husband stopped cleaning. He wouldn't pick up after himself, wouldn't do his agreed-upon chores, and suddenly became a slob. It's not like he's been intentionally dirtying things up. I stopped doing all of my housework a month into our marriage out of protest, and I now live in complete and utter filth. I'm rarely home due to the mess. I part-time live with my sister at this point, and my husband doesn't even care. I come home only to sleep at night, and sometimes I don't even come home at all. It's like we aren't even married anymore, and it's draining my mental health to the point where I've had multiple breakdowns this month. I'm completely over it. I wanted to get married, but this is not the man that I married. I would much rather be home where I belong, but I'm not a maid. The mess in the house is as follows. Wet food in the sink from him throwing his plate in it, finished or not. Bugs, garbage littered everywhere. Puddles of mystery substances. The trash is never taken out. All of his laundry is dirty. Clothes unfolded, crumbs galore, take out everywhere since he won't cook, and dishes piled to the skies. I can guarantee you there's more, but I can't describe it right. It's like he's a toddler. It's exactly like mommy isn't cleaning up, so he's tornadoing through our house and not caring. Before, he would scrape his plate, rinse it, and then leave it. He would take the trash outside and take the cans to the curb. He'd sweep, vacuum, occasionally do laundry, and he would never eat in the bed. Now, he does all those things. A few hours ago, I told him that if he doesn't clean up tonight, then I'm divorcing him tomorrow. I said if I don't see some progress on the house, then we're over. He told me that I'm being a butthole for no reason and that cleaning is no longer his job. I nearly popped an effing blood vessel. We did not decide on that. He's telling me that I'm throwing everything away over pride and that all new marriages go through this transition. That's BS. He told his mom and she called me not too long ago and told me that I need to calm down and reconcile. I really love my mother-in-law and she's one of the most level-headed people I know. Hence the reason I'm writing this post. She's making me wonder if divorce is too far because it's just a mess. She told me that we can reach a compromise, that we need to take a breather and talk about it. But truthfully, I don't want to. She reminded me of our good times and that life won't always be the way that it is now. But I'm feeling incredibly skeptical. I can't stand filth and I can't live like this even if it's for him. 
You know, literally just this morning, I saw a TikTok of a divorce attorney, and she said that overwhelmingly the number one cause of divorce in her experience is when one of the people in the marriage just stops doing their household chores. Then that because that builds up resentment, which leads to fights, which eventually just erodes the marriage. And yeah, definitely the disgusting behavior here is a pretty bad red flag, but in my opinion, the real problem here is that OP left the house and this guy is so lazy that he's not willing to lift a single finger to win back his wife. This dude is stepping over mystery puddles that are congealing on the floor, and he would rather keep those puddles than keep his wife. So it seems like the core issue here isn't really that he's dirty, the issue is that he just doesn't really care about you, OP. So it sounds like the marriage has flatlined. OP, I'm giving you 0 out of 5 buttholes. I'm giving your husband 3 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for not telling my girlfriend that I was gonna break up with her if she went on vacation with male friends? Basically, my girlfriend went on vacation with her male friends. I told her that this made me uncomfortable and I didn't want her to go. By the way, she used to hook up with one of them before she met me. She told me it'd be fine and that they're like brothers to her. They're like brothers to her and she used to sleep with them, huh? I already made the decision to break up with her right there and then, but I wanted to get my stuff from her place before doing anything, and I figured that I could do that while she was gone. I also didn't want to break up over text or phone calls, so I waited for her to come back. I picked her up when she came back, dropped her off, and gave her the key to her place back and broke up. She started crying, and she figured out that it was because of the vacation. She kept saying that nothing happened. I told her she knew that I wasn't comfortable with this, and she still went. She mentioned that I should have said that I would break up with her if she went, and that if she knew, she would have never gone. I told her that I didn't want to be controlling and threaten her with ending the relationship. We kept going back and forth over this for a while. For context, she's never actually introduced me to any of these friends, even though I mentioned wanting to meet them. She kept making excuses. She never told me that she used to hook up with her friend. I only found out because I found an old picture of them kissing when she was showing me some old travel pics. Also, I was okay with her friendship with them until now. This was just too much for me. OP, I would absolutely never go on a vacation with a bunch of female friends, because even if nothing did happen, it would just make my wife distrustful and doubtful, and of course, who wouldn't be doubtful in that situation? I mean, maybe some people out there are more secure than I am, but for me, that's like deal breaker territory. When you're in a relationship with someone, you have a responsibility not only to not cheat, but to also not give the appearance that you could be cheating. OP, you get 0 out of 5 buttholes. I also would have broken up with her. I'm giving your girlfriend 1.5 out of 5 buttholes if she didn't cheat, and 3 out of 5 buttholes if she did cheat. And I have a suspicion that she did. That was r slash am I the butthole. And if you like this content, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also, hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.